Welcome back to Wide World of Sports. This is Shark Island, about 100 metres off Cronulla Point and home to one of Australia's heaviest and rarest reef waves. Today it's hosting 20 of the best bodyboarders from around the world in the 18th Shark Island Challenge. When this wave's, when it's on, it's, I mean, you can see how deadly the reef is and it's pretty much the most scariest wave in the world, you know, and it's, uh, it's so unpredictable too, like, you know, I've been surfing here like probably 20 years, I live in front of it and, you know, there's not a day that goes past where I'm not super scared and looking at the reef inside the barrel going, oh my God, if I come off here, you know, and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And, I uh, just, fingers crossed, it never ever happens bad to me. It's really exciting, it's a great competition. Um, people from all over Australia come here to compete in this event. It's like, it's a really strong body, a bodybuilding comp because of the legacy behind it. So it's great, it's really exciting. What's special about this wave? Um, the fact that you could rip your face off at any point in time and um, it's a really challenging wave to ride. You can never fully be confident on what it's going to do. So being an athlete in these kind of conditions, it makes it really, really technical and difficult to, uh, to go good. So, yeah, that's what makes it cool. Andrew, how's that out there? Oh, mate, it was unreal. There's, um, you know, the Shark Island Comp's my most favourite comp in the world, so, you know, any time it runs, it's going to be good, but I was uh, pretty lucky to get some good waves, so. I don't know who's at school today or, <laughs> or at work, but, yeah, it's pretty cool, you know, I remember... I mean, I was lucky enough to go in the first event, uh, I think back in 97. You know, I was just a young kid, just watching it, watching all my heroes surf, so... Um, you know, I hope these kids here get an opportunity to go in it one day, because it's such a special event. Ma magic footage, isn't it? It's the uh, Shark pictures. Island Challenge and the bodyboarding. The waves can get bigger than that, but in six foot it was uh, Andrew Lester who joins us now and Alex Leon. They were both there and it's taken 17 years, mate, to win that. So uh, I think we all give you a round of applause. Well done, Andrew. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> very excited. Andrew, you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Gee, there's about 100 in our crowd here. There is every week. Or was that five making a big noise? <laughs> mate, um, you've, you've hung in there, you've, you've kept with it and you've got the chocolates. Yeah, finally. Yeah, it's, um, outstanding. Yeah, it was good to get the monkey off the back. It was uh, kind of feeling like a silverback gorilla by the end of it. <laughs> but, um, no, it was, it was really good. You know, I live in Cronulla. It's my home event. And, um, you know, to finally win it, yeah, it's the best feeling I've felt. It's something that I don't know a huge amount about, and I'd like to learn more about how you guys actually manoeuvre yourselves within these waves. Cause it's Do yourself a favour. Get yourself a bodyboard. Body yeah. Get out there and then you'll... Me, me and water. <laughs> I can not see a, you. I can see you. Yeah. But tell us about how you do manoeuvre yourself through these barrels, how these, through these big waves, because it's different to surfing, but in a way kind of similar, I'm guessing, Alex. Yeah, yeah, it's similar. It's, um, we drive and, you know, through the barrel and stuff with our legs where, you know, crazy? surfers use their balance um, through to their feet, you know, controlling rail to rail, but... We use like our legs through the barrel and you know heaps of guys are training in gyms now like because you know you've got to be skinny and like fit and trying to do flips and yeah it's getting mm. pretty crazy now well yeah. you take on pipeline chopu all yeah. the big breaks that the surfers do and that must be daunting yeah it is yeah it's a well, it's adrenaline rush you know it's, yeah it's addictive too you know it keeps you going back and back so yeah andrew should we take a look at some vision of you winning yesterday's big event, just to bring it home to you a little bit more. Um, had all your family and friends around, I'm sure, to take home what you've been wanting to do for a long time? Yeah. Um, there you go, they're the photos. Yeah, there's Wow, last night looked wild. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. Um, and that was one of the best things. I got to share the, you know, all my friends and that have been, you know, have um, supported me throughout all the years and everything. So it's really cool to see that and see all my friends there. Um, they were just as excited and stoked for me as I was. So, yeah, it was really cool. And then the younger guys who I surf with, um, you know, they're all. I just was stoked to see how how happy they all were that, for me that I won. And what's next, Alex? Uh, we've got a break now. We're finished for the year, so yeah. um, first event next year is uh, Pipeline in Hawaii in February. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And how big does that get? Oh, 10 to 15 foot. Yeah. 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 Well, that's oh. the that's the next event on the surfing calendar where they're all fighting it mm -hmm. out for the, yeah. uh, the the big prize. So yeah. Uh, yeah. That nast nastier than Chopu or? They're different. Oh, Chopu's probably a bit gnarlier. Yeah. It's, uh, it goes onto a shallow shelf and it's, 
a lot more scary. It'd than be dangerous, pipe. like on your stomach as well on a board. I mean, you, you're <laughs> riding straight into it. Whereas if you're on a surfboard, I guess you've got your legs to maybe help. No, you we admire your courage <laughs> and your skill. Well done, guys. Thanks yeah. for coming in. No, no worries, well done, Andrew. Well done, mate. Persistence Thanks. pays off. As we go to the next break, let's.